So you're going to show us what some of your what you do uh, for the ten and one? Yeah, I'll do I'll do a couple of classic ten and one tricks for you. Um, the first one, what I'm going to do for you is, and do you do you want to hear the stick that goes with it? Sure. All right. You know, I, I'm a sensitive guy, and, and I like to show people that. You know, I, I enjoy cooking, I enjoy sewing. Let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about. What I'm going to do right now for you, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to take this button right here, and I'm going to sew it, whoops, and I'm going to sew it to my arm. And here we go. Just run it right through like this. You can tell us what you're doing right now, part of it. Yeah, right now we're going to go ahead and thread the needle through the button itself. And get it on there. Whoops. Hold this one more time. I should have put on my sewing glasses. All right. And run the needle right through there just one more time. And here we go. And there you have it, sewing a button to the arm. Now next up, what I'd like to do for you, you know, the trend nowadays is an eating light, and we're going to do that for you right now. I'm going to eat this light bulb for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to warm it up a little bit first because I like a hot meal. Now the proper technique for fine luminary dining is to first bite off the stem. You know, I gotta tell you, when you reach my age and you find yourself eating light bulbs for a living, you've made some bad career moves along the way. That one exploded, I'll have to get another one, sorry. It happens every now and then. Yeah. Some cheap shit light bulbs. Yeah. Those bastards. Oh. Anyways. The technique nowadays, ladies and gentlemen, is an eating light. And that's what I'm going to do for you right this moment. I'm going to eat this light bulb. I just want to turn it on for a moment to warm it up because I like a hot meal. Now the proper technique for fine luminary dining is to first bite off the stem. Now I gotta tell you, when you reach my age and you find yourself eating light bulbs for a living, you've made some bad career moves along the way. Here we go. It doesn't get soggy, even in milk. Yeah, you know, I get people asking me all the time, do you eat the metal part? No, I don't eat the metal part, and I don't eat the tails off a of shrimp either. What do you think, I'm nuts? I should mention, by the way, you're not seeing the hardest part of this trick. Yeah, it comes a little later. Suffice it to say, I have a much better understanding now of exactly how marbles were made.
good to the last drop. Can you do that one more time? Can you do it? Can you get a headshot? You can simulate it, but if you could just swallow and just do it with me, get a full hug shot of him. That makes face. a great noise. <laughs> you just get a shot of his face. Yeah, I was a, I was a close up when he swallowed. Yeah. No, I know. But I wanted... Can I just get you, you know, just give a swig and say good to the last drop? Yeah, sure. Okay, you know, just a headshot of his eyes. Like that? A little tight, tight. Yeah, right there. Okay. Good to the last drop. Now, if I could have you just um, do a little tighter shot and do, you know, just swallow, go, you know, you're watching Shocked and Amazed TV. Okay. On the Travel Channel. Uh, you want me to say on you, the Travel you're Channel? You're watching Shocked and Amazed TV, and they give us a smile. Okay. And then another one, you're watching Shocked and Amazed TV on the Travel Channel. Okay. A big smile. Do a swig at it. Okay. All right, that way. Okay. Straight to camera. You're watching Shocked and Amazed TV. No. No, keep Hold looking it. at the camera. Yeah, keep okay, looking sorry. at the camera. Okay, sorry. Actually, do another dramatic swig. Like, okay. You know, like you just finished chewing your glass. Okay. You're watching Shocked and Amazed TV. Do it as a big grin after that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Like, okay, go ahead. All right, do, do, do another swig. Okay, no problem. Yeah. You're watching Shocked and Amazed TV. And I'll have everyone doing one Shocked and Amazed TV on, on the, travel the Travel Channel. channel. Yeah, right? yeah. You're watching Shocked and Amazed TV on the Travel Channel. Uh, it's good? Good. And, and uh, one more, just Shocked and Amazed TV on the Travel Channel. Okay. Give us a real Yeah, I got you. You're watching Shocked and Amazed TV on the Travel Channel. Perfect. Thank you. Pull out our frame. Lift it back up. Drop it back down. Lift it up in the same spot that you did. Time just on. Okay. Should we pick it up? And do it? We got it. That's a massive flare. So you turn it off. Turn it back on. It's good. You want to have him talk about that? Yeah. Can you go? Okay. Go ahead and should turn it off now. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us how did you? Uh, how did you tell us about? I got it close that. Actually, just tell. You know, I was first introduced to that stunt by a guy I went to high school with. He had a speech impediment, and he wasn't the most popular kid around. And so he would do that. And the other thing he would do was he would go to Steak and Shake, and he would kill bugs off of their window and order a, a empty hamburger bun and put them on the hamburger bun and eat them. So that was his two things he would do to just kind of attract attention because he wasn't the most popular guy around. And at the time, I thought he was just totally whacked. But then later on. I, uh, I w when doing research on sideshows, I found that that was actually a trick that was done by sideshow performers. And, you know, so I just kind of, I, I did quite a bit of research on the subject and found a, a book um, that, that told some of the techniques and I just kind of took it from there. I actually learned it from a book, which, by the way, I don't recommend it. I don't do, recommend doing that stunt in the first place, but in particular, uh, you shouldn't do any of this stuff learning it from a book. It's uh, the only way to learn any of these sideshow stunts 
is one-on-one uh, -on -one with somebody that's been in the business for some time. So who taught you that? The, the kid? The, the, well, again, I saw that kid doing it when I was a kid. And I thought he was nuts at the time, but and then later on, it was such an intriguing thing, though. It was something that I'd never forgotten, that this guy, you know, first off, you would have thought that he would have been cut very badly, and, and, and that would have been the end of him. But he had done it other times before, you know, the time, besides the time I saw him do it. And uh, so it was just one of those, you know, he, apparently he had seen it in a sideshow himself, I'm guessing, and, and, and that, that's where he picked it up at. Uh, by the way, I should mention that part of the deal is I have a strict dietary regimen that I follow in order to be able to do that trick. What is it? Uh, I, I don't like to give that information out because I don't want other people imitating me because it really is a very dangerous trick. Tell kids, tell them, don't try this. Look in the camera and say, don't try this at home. Hey, kids, don't try this at home, please. Keep, keep, keep your eyes up. locked. I'm sorry? Keep your eyes locked to the camera. Yeah. Kids, don't try this at home, please. Okay, uh, at the end of that, just keep staring at the camera for okay. like three seconds. Kids, don't try this at home, please. Perfect. Okay. Thanks, Matt. Sure. Thank you.